Have you ever wondered why your joints ache after certain meals? Or perhaps you've noticed that some foods seem to worsen your arthritis symptoms? Well, you're not alone and there's a good reason for it. In this video, we will explore the 7 worst foods for your joints and inflammation backed by high level studies. Do watch till the end as we will also reveal the best foods to replace them with and I promise it's not just a list of vegetables. And if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Without further ado, let's start our countdown of the 7 worst foods for your joints and inflammation. Food number 7, Processed Meats, Hidden Dangers in Your Sandwich This category includes luncheon meats, bacon, ham slices, jerky and smoked meats. But why are these so bad for your joints? The culprit here is something called AGES, Advanced Glycation End Products. These compounds accumulate in your body over time and have been linked to increased inflammation and joint pain. Studies have shown that consuming processed meats can increase inflammatory markers in your body. Number 6. Alcohol – A Double-Aged Sword Now, this one might surprise you, especially if you've heard about the potential benefits of red wine in the Mediterranean diet. So, what's the deal with alcohol and joint health? The key here is moderation. Studies suggest that for women, more than 2 glasses a day or for men, more than 3 glasses a day can start to have negative effects. That's about 10 drinks per week for women and 15 for men. But let's be honest, doesn't that still seem a bit high? Excessive alcohol consumption is associated with increased inflammatory markers in your body. It can also affect your gut health, leading to a condition called leaky gut, which can impair your body's ability to absorb nutrients that fight inflammation. Food number 5. Processed Carbohydrates – The Sugar Trap These are foods high on the glycemic index, think donuts, white bread, pastries and sugary cereals. But what makes this so harmful to your joints? High sugar levels in your bloodstream can lead to stiffened tendons, putting more pressure on your joints. Moreover, diets high in processed carbs often lack fiber, which can lead to other health issues that indirectly affect your joint comfort. Food number 4. Vegetable and seed oils The omega imbalance this is often a controversial topic but let's break it down. The main issue with many of these oils is their high content of omega-6 fatty acids. Now, you've probably heard of omega-3 fatty acids and their health benefits. But did you know that the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 in your diet is crucial? Ideally, this ratio should be close to 1 is to 1. However, in the average American diet, it's more like 25 to 1 in favor of omega-6. This imbalance can contribute to increased inflammation in your body. Some studies have shown that rats with a high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio had increased inflammatory markers and higher rates of cancer. But here's where it gets tricky. Not all oils are created equal. Some are better than others and factors like how they're processed and cooked can affect their health impact. To find out more about the different cooking oils, you may also wish to check out my other video on 10 top cooking oils for longevity and health in the link above and in the description down below after you have finished this video. Food number 3. Artificial trans fats, the hidden enemies. These are often found in processed foods like microwave popcorn, margarine, fried foods and many baked goods. But what makes them so detrimental to your joint health? Trans fats are known to increase inflammation in the body. They've been linked to higher risk of heart disease and some studies suggest they may worsen arthritis symptoms. It's worth noting that naturally occurring trans fats in lean meats and dairy don't seem to have the same negative effects as artificial ones. Food number 2. High fructose corn syrup, the sweet deception. This sweetener is ubiquitous in the western diet, found in sodas, desserts, cereals and many processed foods. But why is it so bad for your joints? HFCS is essentially pure refined sugar, typically consisting of 45% glucose and 55% fructose. Studies have shown that consumption of HFCS leads to increased inflammatory cytokines in the body. In animal studies, mice fed high fructose diets had higher rates of cancer and lower levels of anti-inflammatory markers. One particularly alarming study compared the effects of soda with milk and water. The results? Soda consumption led to significantly worse health outcomes. Food number 1. Gout triggering foods The joint destroyers Gout is caused by a buildup of uric acid in the body, forming crystals in the joints, most commonly in the big toe. These crystals are like tiny shards of glass, causing intense pain and damaging the joint. Foods that can trigger gout include sugary foods and beverages, fatty meats, shellfish and certain fish high in purines, alcohol, especially beer. 
The pain from a gout attack can last 3 to 10 days and can be excruciating. So, if you're prone to gout, it's crucial to be mindful of this trigger food. Now that we've covered the foods to avoid, let's talk about what you should be eating instead. Are you ready to make some positive changes to your diet? 1. Turmeric and Curcumin Nature's Anti-Inflammatory Studies have shown that turmeric can help reduce joint pain and inflammation. Interestingly, the average Indian diet includes about 2,000 mg of turmeric daily, more than many supplements provide. 2. Omega-3 Rich Foods Balancing the Skills Remember our discussion about the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio? Here's where we address the imbalance. Foods high in omega-3 fatty acids such as walnuts, flax seeds, and fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines can help lessen inflammation in the body. Aim to increase your intake of these omega-3 rich foods while reducing sources of omega-6. This shift can help bring your fatty acid ratio closer to that ideal 1 is to 1 balance. You may also wish to check out my other video on what happens if you take omega-3 fish oil every day for 30 days in the link above and in the description down below after you have finished this video. 3. Green Tea Seek your way to joint health Green tea isn't just a pleasant beverage, it's also a powerful ally in the fight against joint pain. Studies have shown that compounds in green tea, particularly EGCG, can help reduce inflammation and potentially slow cartilage breakdown. Consider replacing one of your daily coffee or soda drinks with a cup of green tea. It's a simple change that could make a big difference for your joints. Number 4. Colorful Fruits and Vegetables – Nature's Medicine when it comes to fighting inflammation, the more colourful your plate, the better. Fruits and vegetables, especially berries, cherries and leafy greens, are packed with antioxidants that can help reduce inflammation in your body. Cherries in particular have been shown to be beneficial for people with gout. They can help lower uric acid levels and reduce the frequency of gout attacks. Number 5. Healthy Fats Not all fats are created equal. While we discussed avoiding certain oils earlier, it's important to remember that some fats are beneficial for joint health. Olive oil, avocados, and nuts are all sources of healthy fats that can help reduce inflammation. Extra virgin olive oil, in particular, contains a compound called oleocanthal, which has been shown to have similar anti-inflammatory effects to ibuprofen. You may also wish to check out my other video on olive oil's benefits in the link above and in the description down below after you have finished this video. Number 6. Lean Proteins – Building Blocks for Healthy Joints While we cautioned against processed meats earlier, lean proteins are actually crucial for maintaining healthy joints. Foods like free-range chicken, turkey, wild-caught fish, and plant-based proteins like beans and lentils provide the amino acids your body needs to repair and maintain joint tissue. Number 7. Hydration – The Often Overlooked Factor Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the importance of staying hydrated. Water helps to lubricate your joints and flush out toxins from your body. It's especially important for people prone to gout as good hydration can help prevent uric acid buildup. Aim to drink at least 2 to 3 litres of water a day. If you find plain water boring, try infusing it with fruits, herbs, or even essential oils certified for oral use for added flavour and benefits. An example will be lemon essential oil. It is great for boosting immunity and reducing acidity in the body. To find out more about lemon essential oils uses and benefits, do check out my other video here in the link above and in the description down below. Your diet plays a crucial role in managing joint pain and inflammation. By avoiding harmful foods and embracing healthier alternatives, you can take control of your joint health and potentially reduce reliance on medications. Do you eat any of these foods that may cause arthritis and inflammation? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share this video so that more people will learn about what foods to avoid for arthritis and inflammation. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of health tips for women and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.